Now, the DA has launched a unit to help fight and stop farm attacks. Court watching briefing units will be set up across the country. They will act as an unofficial go between between police, prosecutors, and victims. The party says there's been a sharp rise in attacks and murders, and the situation requires urgent attention. For more on this, I'm now joined by the DA's Diane Cola Barnard. Diane, very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. So, we'll look at, we have dire, dire stats when it comes to murder in this country. Why are you focusing on this particular constituency? Well, this is a constituency that has been literally ignored uh, over the years. Um, this is my specific aim. This is what I was tasked to do. And looking at what is going on um, and the, the literal lack of interest in what is going on has been a real eye-opener. Um, we've, we've seen during the lockdown uh, murders and attacks in rural areas just skyrocket. Uh, just in June last month alone, there were 56 farm attacks, seven murders. Um, and I put those attacks that do involve the most terrible torture one could ever imagine, something out of the medieval era. Uh, those murders and attacks, uh, 12 murders, 88 attacks during the lockdown. I put them at the minister, Becky Taylor's door. He stopped all the farm patrols for reasons I fail to understand. And it's the farmers, the ones who get up at half past four in the morning and work all day, who then patrol at night to try and keep their family safe. And he stopped that. Um, they're attacked for growing food, basically. Um, so he stopped them protecting themselves, even though he knows the rural police stations have so few resources, so few vehicles to cover the massive areas. And the residents patrol for themselves and work with the police, giving them feedback. Now, we did indeed, in, over the past 13 days, we announced we would focus on 16 areas uh, to try and improve their plight. Now, Diane, be be before we just talk about those specifics, I wanted to, you, yes. you mentioned that uh, there, are, there are horrific uh, attacks. Uh, you know, some of the uh, farmers and uh, their managers are being tortured. Why do you think these attacks are so, are so, so horrific? It's not just a matter of, you know, robbery. No. Um, I have to tell you that in more and more reports were finding out that the people enter, um, as happened in KwaZulu-Natal uh, at the weekend, uh, attacked the family, husband, wife, children. The wife was pregnant with twins. They took her in the bathroom and slit her throat. Um, husband's in hospital. The children, they tried to strangle them. They survived. And you know what they took? Nothing. They took nothing. That that anyone knows of. Um, so this is actually becoming quite normal. Um, they may grab the odd cell phone as they walk out, but the torture can, of course, in deep rural areas, uh, because unless one gets to a panic button, uh, there may be no cell phone signal, there may be nothing, lines may be cut, uh, the tortures can go on for days, and they've been known to go on for three days and three nights. Um, as they, and indiscriminate, race is irrelevant, uh, age is irrelevant, sex is irrelevant. They are destroyed. Now, Diane, what are your nationwide uh, court watching briefs, the unit? What do you aim to achieve with that? Well, in, in looking at various ways to tackle this issue, um, one of the problems that we've seen is that these cases, if on the off chance, uh, someone is apprehended. The case can drag on year after year after year. It, it is just impossible for the victim because they have to then appear in court over and over and over. We indeed have a, a Democratic Alliance a counselor who is a farmer and she was brutally attacked. They have the DNA. They arrested one of the perpetrators, and he is still strolling around five and a half years later. She's been to court. She couldn't even tell me how many times. She's lost count. So it is, it is horrific. And so tackling that, we looked at what they were doing in the Western Cape, and it works extraordinarily well. It's a campaign which we will now roll out nationally and have done. Um, and it's a way of standing by the side of people who basically are shell-shocked. They are in a terrible state after such an attack. They quite possibly have lost family members to the attack. The situation is, is now beyond urgent. And um, so here we go. Um, right. we're, we're, 
we're following this initiative that is ensuring that attackers will go to jail because that's the big call by anyone uh, who's in that situation. And because this area has been very deliberately ignored, in fact, the president announced to the world that there are no uh, farmers being killed, um, we're doing oh. it for him. All right. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with us. The uh, DA's Diana, uh, Diane Kolobana there uh, talking about the, uh, the fact that they've launched a nationwide court watching briefs unit to assist uh, a farm, uh, farmers who've been attacked.